Okay, happy Sunday, everybody. If you're a guest, if you're just tuning in for the first time, my name is Brent Palmer. Uh, I reside in a very small town in North Alabama, and uh, I've been in this industry for going on a decade, and I am super excited about RX and, and, and just what all is happening across RX Nation. Unbelievable. And uh, I really, really appreciate you taking your time out tonight to just give to this. And we've got two special guests joining us tonight that I'm going to introduce in just a few minutes that I'm excited about you hearing from. Um, but I want to kind of do some housekeeping first, okay? The first thing I want to do is I want to encourage you. Yesterday, um, Jeff Yates was on the, the normal uh, uh, Chris Doyle and, and Todd Rowland Saturday morning call. And let me tell you, Jeff Yates, chief financial officer for years with Oryx, was on, and he was talking about all the excitement around the company going public. And, and not just the excitement for the company and what it means for the future of the company, but what it means for you, the representative and what it can mean for your future, you know? And, and as he talked yesterday, that's why I really encourage you to go watch the Zoom from yesterday. Uh, I personally have gotten to know Jeff Yates, one of the founders and owners of Oryx, um, since we've been apart and I'm blown away with his heart. His heart for wanting to give back, his heart for wanting to help the representative. And he really said his new role is really, uh, creating wealth opportunities for the representatives. So go take a look at what the call was about yesterday and the things that he shared about going public and what it means about bringing to you the rep and me the rep more opportunities and more chances for us to create our ownership. So um, excited about you hearing that call. Raise, kind of raise your hand, I can see you. Raise your hand if you watched that. You, you watched the Zoom yesterday from Jeff Yates. Um, it's, it's one that I've went back and watched, okay? Because in our industry, belief is so big. It's so big. If I believe, it's kind of like when I was a high school football coach. If I could believe in something, if I could get behind something, then I, I could run through a bit brick, brick wall to get it, okay? And that's where we want to get you and all of our nation that belief where it needs to be to go out and pursue and get this uh, special moment in time that we're all upon us, you know, and we're going to hear about that tonight. First thing I want to do tonight, I want to bring on, because I try to keep this the 30 minutes, sometimes it goes over, okay, but um, I want to bring on a special lady from Johnston, Rhode Island. Johnston, Rhode Island, um, the first thing I want to bring up is I want to bring up a slide this past weekend. I want you to see this transformation of two special ladies that were with us in Utah. Jackie Rancourt Becker and Dr. Crystal Vance. And they united. You know, they're not on the same team. They united in Utah this past weekend. And I want you to look at what the RX products are doing in their lives. You know, just it, we're going to talk more about that, but it starts with being able to help people create transformations. Stories sell. You can tell all the facts in the world, but when you can show visible proof, how many of you agree with me? Visible proof of people having results. Dr. Crystal Vance, I met years ago. You know, I met her as the person holding the fish there on the left and, and, and to see, you know, a, a very special person, huge heart for helping people, someone that owned her own professional practice, grab a hold of this industry and grab a hold of the products and create her own transformation has been unbelievable. And tonight you're going to hear from Jackie Rancourt Becker, Becker about her transformation that happened. Listen, She's lost over 60 pounds in five months, but here's the beauty of this. Over the last nine months, she's maintained it. She's kept it off. And this weekend, we saw those two ladies come together, and it was just like that, 
That's what it's all about. It's about, you know, it could be financially, it could be a person's health, it could be both, but we're in the business of helping people be a better version of their self. And when you're in that business, when you're in that type of business, you found something you can retire in and you don't have to retire out of. It's like the best thing in the world to get up in the morning, put your feet on the floor and go change somebody's life. So at this time, I want to bring on Jackie from Johnston, Rhode Island. Jackie, are you with me tonight? I'm here. Hi, thanks for having me. Jackie, thank you for being here. And wow, what a transformation. I just wanted to show that slide. Uh, it's just an inspiration to all of us. But um, we're going to move to the view of everybody now. And I just want you to share kind of your testimony to, to Ben. I know you've been with Oryx for a while now. Um, and just uh, I'm going to turn it over to you and let you kind of share what, what this has meant for you and your, and your story. It's meant everything. Um, so a year ago in June is when I first started the products and um, I reached my goal in November. Um, I, was, I was sick of the way I looked, completely sick of it. And I was getting sick all the time and put on all these medications. And I knew it all, what it boiled down to was I was just overweight. And um, I wanted to find something, but I, wa I didn't want to be put on more medications. And I didn't want anything like that. I wanted something that was going to change my life, a, a lifestyle change, basically. And um, I was telling this to one of my friends and um, she said, I'm gonna send you a video. I think this might be what you're looking for. As soon as I saw it, I was convinced. And I was like, well, you know, I'm gonna give it a try. The worst, you know, the worst thing that can happen is it doesn't work. Well, it worked. And, um, and it worked and it worked. And the thing is, these, these drops are not magic. Um, they, you have to follow the program. And I followed it to a T. Um, I was very focused. I stayed um, within the um, approved food list. And I was just excited every day. I felt better every day. I felt better from the start. And um, since then, I realized that the weight loss is really just a side effect. You know, it's just, um, it's, it's a plus because everything else is so much bigger. You know, I feel, I feel amazing. Every day I wake up and I smile and I never used to be a morning person, you know, but I'm like, good morning. Like people hate me in the morning now. <laughs> um, but I, you know, I, I get up and I'm, I'm excited about the day. Um, I still take the products. I don't take the drops anymore. I don't need to, um, but I take the supplements and the shakes and the MOA and the Rejuvenix. And, you know, that's, that's, my, that's my goal every day is just to make sure that I stay on track. And um, I can't say that I don't eat ice cream every once in a while. Um, but most of the time when I want something sweet, I want fruit. You know, this has taught me to make, you know, really good choices when it comes to my food and when it comes to what I do. Um, you know, in my active life. And um, the, the best part is how I feel on the inside. Like it has changed me so much. I'm so happy and I'm so excited to share this with so many people. And when somebody contacts me and they're like, I wanna know what you've done. I want, in, I, want, I want in, you know, I'm like, you know, great decision because this is gonna change your life and I can't wait to see it. You know, my goal is to share it with as many people as possible because they deserve this, you know, they deserve to be happy like this. Jackie, that, that is an amazing story and, and inspiration to so many people in, in a world today where people are worried about their health, they're worried about their immune system, they're worried about their weight and maintaining their weight. And mm -hmm. obviously I know um, the, the drops, uh, I know you, you ladies refer to them sometimes as skinny drops. I like that. I like that. But you know, um, but maybe just you, you don't even have to go into it but but a couple of the a couple of the supplements that you take daily uh or maybe that's on your monthly auto ship order what what is kind of your auto ship to maintain what you've created in the 60 pound weight loss well we all need that we we all know that we need the rejuvenix and the moa because um those get me going every morning um 
Some people like to take them a little later in the afternoon um, when they start to feel that lull, like my husband does that. But I like them first thing in the morning and I take the Optimal V and the Optimal M and I take the MagnaCal at night now, uh, thanks to uh, Dr. Ginger. She, you know, um, she said, You'll, you could probably sleep better if you take it at night. Well, I tried it and from the first night, I fell asleep without a sleeping pill and now I'm completely off the sleeping pill. That was the last medication that I needed to get off of. Um, so if anybody out there is having a hard time sleeping, get rid of those pills and start taking the Magnacol D because it works. Um, and I do the shakes and the giving greens in my smoothie every day. In fact, my husband and I just had one. Um, it's, I mean, I just, I maintain in that way and I just make healthy choices. And you learn that from following the approved food list. Yeah, that's, that, that's so awesome, Jackie. That's perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you for your stories. And, and, and you know, that's, that's what we do. You know, I, I shared that this weekend while I was at the event, Jackie. I told, I told a group of people, we were sitting out back and we were talking and I said, they said, what are you most excited about with, with Rx going public? And I said, it's the opportunity to attract more companies like Lemu and like New Serity and like, because what it attracts is not just great products, but it attracts great people. Mm -hmm. And when you can attract great, you, you can attract people, people comes with stories, mm -hmm. right? And so the night's a great example of that. A year ago, I didn't have Jackie's story to leverage to people. But because of this merger, I now have more people's stories. If you network and you get to know people, so Jackie, thank you for sharing your story tonight, your transformation and, and what products you use during that transformation. I'll make sure I'm on those. Uh, and, I'm, and, and I'm proud to say that I am taking all of those. So uh, thank glad you for to hear having that. me. Yes, thank you so much. And um, so Jackie obviously knows this person very well. And, and let me say something about the next guest tonight. Um, and he doesn't want to, he's one of those humble leaders that just leads, you know? And, but we came here, Lemu came here, ah oh man, it's been month, several months ago. And we did an event and we actually went to Utah. We went to Utah just right out of the gate, you know, scared to death, went to Utah. And I met this gentleman, Aaron Decker. I didn't know Aaron, but he embraced me. He embraced me and made me feel welcome to be a part of Oryx. And then we had an event in Denver, Colorado, kind of getting the Lemu reps juiced up to be a part of Oryx. And guess who showed up to this event? With no, no downline, he showed up to the event just as support in Denver, Colorado. And I got to know him more. And I was just with him in Utah. And I guess what I can say is, you know, I could go on and on. He's got almost, you know, 20 years in the industry. He's earned millions of dollars. Um, you know, most of you know Dr. Ginger Decker that, that he's married to. And, and, you know, I've been able to get to know kind of what they do in Michigan for children. And I'm just blown away. And at the end of the day, his heart for helping people is what really that servant driven leadership is what really stands out. And I know he's shaking his head tonight as I introduce him, but at the end of the day, I wanted him to come on tonight and ask him a few questions because let me, let me say this. Um, he would not be here in RX today coming over years ago, had it not been for the owners, the, the leadership of the owners and the vision for where they were going to take this company. And um, so without further ado, I want to bring him on. I got, listen, I say this all the time. I got to say this again. I just keep going on and on. But some leaders, some people do things in the industry and then they just tell everybody else how to go do it, you know? And then there's some people that actually lead by the tongue in their shoes, not just the tongue in their mouth. And every week I see this, I see Aaron Decker, Aaron, 
is in the top, top percentage of the power ranking group every week. And you go, well, how do you get up there? By being in Create and Build. So he's got this big organization over the years, but every week he's in the top power rankers in the company because he's out building new teams, new organizations, finding new people to bless with this opportunity. And so he's doing that. He's got one of the fastest growing new teams inside of the company in North America. And so I want to bring him on tonight. So I would challenge you to, just like you did with Jackie, grab a pen, grab a piece of paper, and take some nuggets from this amazing leader. Aaron Decker, thanks for being here with me tonight. Thanks, Brent. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm just Dr. Ginger's husband. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. That is great. But I tell you, you're, you're, you're powerful. And, and thanks for all you do. Thanks for the amazing event you helped to put on in Utah this past weekend. Vision-wise was unbelievable for me. Um, and I think, let me just roll into the first question tonight. So you've been here with Oryx. You, you've been here for, we'll just say years. You brought a group here. You sought after the company. Um, you know the heart of the company. Right now tonight, where we all sit, we're all sitting here, whether we're brand new or we've been here, you know, a good bit of time. Why is this right now, why is Rx worth fighting for? Like, like going out every day and creating consistent activity and fighting for what this company is going to do in the industry? You know, but first of all, through adversity uh, comes opportunity. And, and, you know, several years ago, you know, I found myself, you know, with Todd and Chris and Ken Bailey and Susan, you know, there was a group of us that, you know, we had a bad day, you know, and a bad day is just a bad day. It turned out to be a huge blessing, but, but it was a bad day. You got a phone call that, hey, your company's done. It was a company that we had all met in. And, and uh, I'll never forget when Todd called up and said, hey, uh, need to come down to Florida. When? Uh, like tomorrow. And, uh, you know, got some news and, and guys, we had believed that what we were doing was the right thing. And sometimes you can be on the right path. It's just the wrong thing. And, and, and so Brent, you know, once we got to meet the owners, here's what was fun. Jeff is the same today as he was back then. Mark is the same today as he was back then. Fred is this, unfortunately, no, I'm just kidding. Fred is the same today as he was back then. Uh, even Tim sales, the same, right? Like, when they came down there and, and we all looked at different things and we all had different companies and, and you know, what they said back then, they were just a little over a year old. Like they literally had to paint the vision because they really didn't have a whole lot. And, and, and so, you know, it was, we all got together and we, and we talked and discussed and, and, and ended up here. But even back then there was something special. There was something special about these guys and, and, and it wasn't a bunch of hype. It was just, it was real. And you could see something different. There was something different about the way that they presented their confidence. Uh, what you didn't see was arrogance. What you didn't see was egos. Uh, you saw guys that had been around the industry from the corporate perspective. And, and they weren't just telling us, hey, we're going to do something different. Right? They weren't just telling us, hey, we're going to create a $10 billion company. They weren't just telling us, hey, we're going to create more millionaires. Guys, we've all heard those sayings. But Brent, what I've never seen is people that literally rolled up their sleeves and went to work. And, you know, I, I'll, and I've been blessed, you know, to be along this journey. And I'll, I'll say it now, and I've, I've said it many times. If any of us would just work 10% as hard as our seven owners did, you would never have to worry about income. I'm so grateful that they're getting their due, their due to uh, what they deserve uh, because they worked for it. They walked away, you guys, from everything to start over and they didn't have to. And, and I love, you know, we all say, you know, oh yeah, you need to burn the ships. They burned the ships and then some. And so when you've got a leadership team like that, that's driving this ship, uh, and at first it was all them. And, and then it became about all of us. But, it, and, and I don't know if this is where you want me to go, but transitioning, guys, they didn't start that ship and put everything that they've got into this thing to let it go astray, right? They set out 
to steer this ship and they've got a long-term vision, which doesn't necessarily include them always as the captain because you've got to have new people in command. And that is, in my opinion, that's the kiss of death in our industry is you get owners that refuse to leave. And so companies can only grow up to where that owner is. But when you've got a leadership team that already, even before the idea of a merger, even before the idea of going public, they were already grooming their replacements. Their replacements don't have the same last name as them. They're qualified replacements because they know that the, the company could only grow so much if they only controlled it. It's got to get bigger. And that's, I've always seen that. And, and it's so fun, Brent, seeing it all come to fruition right before our eyes. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm, <clears throat> I hadn't been here, no, you know, just, just a little bit of time, but I'm seeing that vision. Thanks. You know, I have to say this, I've been around the owners now a, a good bit since I've been here, but I've also got to say thanks. Thanks to you, Aaron, and the, and the leadership and Todd and Chris, and I challenge everybody on here tonight, no matter what group you came in with, you, you know, we're going to have thousands upon thousands of people from different companies. The best thing you can do is engage. The minute I came here, I engaged with Aaron. I engaged with Chris Doyle, Todd Rowland, started getting on their Zooms, and my belief started to build. It started to build. And, um, you know, so I know today it's worth fighting for because these guys – has inbred, they, they bedded that into my mind at this point. Aaron, I, I wanted to ask you this because we're in a company that's moving and shaking and rolling and new companies are coming on board. We're going public and, and there's a lot of excitement, but there's also a lot of noise going around us. And as a rep, sometimes you, it, I, I equate it to being in that booth with those $100 bills flowing and sometimes you can't grab them. Like, like there's so many of them, you don't get any. What can we do right now? Like, like you're always in the top power ranking, uh, top, top uh, weekly power rankers in the company. You've got one of the fastest growing teams in North America, really big and coming out of the gates in Texas and beyond. Like, what can we do to stay focused? Like, what do you do to stay focused and keep the main thing the main thing while all this excitement is flowing around us. So there's a couple things. First of all, like what, you know, I, I love what Todd put together here several years ago, right? Which is just, you know, focus on a few products that work, right? Pick whatever your core products are, you guys, and build around that. Because products are gonna come and products are gonna go, right? And, and if you're so tied to and, and, and trying to, to, to talk about everything, it's just not gonna duplicate. And uh, Brent, the main thing is the main thing, which is what? And I, I always use, a, ironically, I'm not a baseball guy, but I use a baseball analogy, right? Like every day I'm out hitting singles, right? And I just encourage people to hit singles. So many times uh, what happens is, is people are looking for that one person that they think is going to make them rich, that, 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 that big home run. Now, I, I'll spend about 10% of my time working on home runs, but, but it's, it's constantly in that batter's box, just looking for singles, looking for singles, you guys. And, and it becomes daily. There's no magic in us. We're just blessed. We're, we're blessed to have amazing people like Jackie, you know, who somebody connected us to somebody connected us to somebody. And then here's this Jackie that just, just goes and, and, and our friend Jeannie and I could go on and on and on. Right. Um, even with Amy and Whitney and that whole team, and right. It's just, but if you're not in there hitting singles guys, if you're not doing the deal every day, uh, you know, consistency creates opportunity. How's that? Because consistency creates opportunity. If you're consistent, if you're constantly doing what we do every day, there will be many opportunities. The sad thing is, is I, I can't tell you how many of you walk by those opportunities every day because you're not consistent. What, what do I mean by that? And, and, and reel me in if you need to, but you know, um, a good friend of Jackie's is Jeannie and, and Jeannie's had a, an incredible transformation in her business. I mean, and they've become great friends. That was last September when I was going to rent napkins. Here's what I didn't do. I didn't say, oh, I'm going to go prospecting. I'm on a prospecting mission. I don't even like the word. I, I just don't. Uh, guys, you know how we have to have a lifestyle change to get our transformation with our health? See, I love what Jackie said. And it's kind of fun. Um, I eat ice cream. That, that's okay. Right? Like, 
if you look like that, you can eat anything you want, right? Like she's doing fantastic. Uh, guys, she's living, but what she's done is she's created a lifestyle around her now new standard. If you and I raise our standards for our business, it becomes a lifestyle. I don't have to go prospect. I listen when people qualify themselves for me to share the opportunity. It's not prospecting, it's a lifestyle, right? So when, when you walk in, when your daily life is, everybody should be connecting with new people. As long as you're leaving your house, you should connect with somebody every day. And you don't know who that person is either going to become or lead you to. And it doesn't matter. We get wrapped up who we think they need to become as opposed to who they might lead us to. Jackie's friend of a friend of a friend, it just wasn't right time. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I'm, that's not my business. My business is, is all of a sudden here's somebody that's absolutely incredible, that's made a, a life-changing trans, uh, a transformation from the inside out and the outside in, and now she wants to do it financially, and she's doing it. Should I stay focused on the person that I think should have done it in the first place and say, oh, forget about Jackie? That's crazy, but so many times, you guys, whether you realize it or not, in our subconscious mind, or even a lot of people, in our they still are trying to, over here, making somebody do something when they've got somebody over here that's wanting to go do something. It's, you guys, it's a lifestyle. And when you get that and you quit forcing and you just organically let things happen, this gets to be a lot of fun because you're just living your life. Wow. That's... That actually led me into the third thing, Aaron. Um, I hope everybody got that. I hope you write it down, that it's a lifestyle, that, that it's, it's not, oh, I'm going to go prospect. I'm going to go like I've got to get one in my business today. No, I've got to consistently live my life and have my belief level up high enough that I know I've got something very special in my pocket that I can offer people as I'm living my life. And, and just like Aaron said, when you get that, you realize, man, I'm, I've got something special here. I've got something special. Um, and it kind of leads me into the last question, Aaron. Um, your belief is of the highest. You know this company is a legacy company you know you will end up one day handing it down to somebody that is going to really thank you for what you built over the years. Um, but with where the world is today, where we're living in the world today with people, you know, direct to the consumer being of highest, uh, people wanting to affect their immune system and their health more so today than ever. And we've got this company on this momentum movement like, and you've already kind of answered it, but maybe anything you want to add to that on, how do we ensure, because I don't think there's anybody on here tonight that gets on these on a Sunday night that don't want to change their situation with this company and create a legacy. How do we ensure we get that piece of pie? And, mm -hmm. and I think you've already kind of answered it, but anything you want to add to that with, with just the insurance that I can go out there and build something right now because we are in that sweet spot. Yeah, here's the assurance. Um, don't allow the feeling of anxiety to stop you. And, and, and let, me, let me play on that a minute. Because I know out of 200 people, uh, there's about 90% right now who have this tightness in their chest and this little pit in this, in this something like, I wish I'd have done more. Uh, they're all coming and I'm gonna miss my opportunity. And what you'll do is instead of taking that and using that if, as fuel to go out there and go, you'll use it as an excuse to stop. And the saddest thing, Brent, is this. The mass majority, and I hate it, I'll be the messenger, the mass majority of people will use our company's growth for them to not go get their piece of the pie. They will use the company's massive growth and it's going to happen fast and all of this great stuff. And all of a sudden, I've, I've already listened to some of the conversations. Well, do you really think it's a good thing that we're going public? Listen, if you don't want to invest in the company, don't. I'm all in. I put it there and now it's ready. I, whatever it is, it's going to be what it's going to be. But we all have to have the attitude. If it's to be, it's up to me. This is a team sport, the best thing in the world. The timing and everything couldn't be better. 
Guys, think about this just for a minute. And, and, and if you wanna think about how can I get my piece of the pie, let's look at why you should and why it will be here. Imagine, and, and again, I'll use another, this is kind of fun. Here, here's a non-sports guy. Todd's probably laughing right now. Um, uh, imagine if you were put, remember the Olympic basketball team when they used our, our, our NBA players? Right? Like it was almost laughable. Like they're going to go play all these people. The, like, like, but how, imagine that you could put together not just a corporate team, but also a field leadership team in the same manner. What do I mean? Every time that we do a merger, every time we do an acquisition, what happens? We get to choose the best of what those companies had to offer on the corporate side. Guys, it's pretty amazing. Not only that, we get new markets and we get to know all the nuances without having to go through all the stuff. Now, you, so you've got this corporate team, dream team, like it was already a massive team. It was already like a dream team. I don't know what's better than a dream team, but the team, right? Like we don't have the dream team, we have the team, right? That's getting created on the corporate side. But then you take over here and you look at what's happened in the leadership. Guys, here's what's a lot of fun. There's some really good people, and I, I still call them friends that aren't here anymore. They were great leaders. They left. Why? For their own reasons. Um, I'll say this, and I say this with respect. I'll say it because of egos and insecurities, they're not here anymore. And, and again, I, I love some of these people, but they're no longer here. But here's what I'm watching. I'm watching the people that really do have a heart for the whole, not just for themselves. I'm watching them come together. And I'm watching a team of leadership in this, I'm talking, put together capital REA, real leadership, okay? Not this watered down leadership that, that happens in network marketing, kind of like a friend on Facebook, ain't nobody got 2000 friends, right? Real leaders are coming together and look what's happening. Guys, it's magic what's going on. So you don't have to worry, you don't have to be anxious. You don't have to have anxiety. You don't have to have apprehension. What you have to do is get yourself out of your own way and go out every day and say, you know what? I'm just going to be consistent because I know that the company has the best of the best and they keep accumulating there. And I know that these, these leaders from these different organizations, from these different companies, I know that the good ones are all starting to work together. And the ones that just aren't supposed to be here just aren't going to be here. And that's okay. It's kind of like your team. Not everybody's going to do what everybody's supposed to do. But you and I need to do what? The main thing, which is hitting singles, getting people started, helping them go gold, get their four. Well, Aaron, my person didn't get their four. Okay, well, go help them. Well, my person won't call me back. Okay, go find another one and help them get their four. Well, well, that one won't come in. Okay, well, then go find somebody else. See, we get wrapped up in trying to make people do stuff that they don't want to do instead of just going and finding somebody like Jackie that's just going to do it with or without you. But you guys, when you really understand what creates a legacy company, it's everything that we have. And then what's the kind of the icing on the cake? The world just happened. Remember, really bad day. Really bad day eight years ago, eight and a half years ago, when I got that phone call from Todd that said, hey, you better get down here. Because see, we believed that that company was going to come back. We believed. We were all in. We hadn't done business for almost two months. We believed it was coming back and it didn't. Bad day, incredible blessing. What just happened in the world? Man, people losing their jobs, people losing their businesses. Maybe a bad day, but you and I have the ability to go share an incredible blessing. Wow. Listen, Aaron Decker, thank you so much. I mean, one, one, one of the, you, you just nailed it. All this weekend, I've been talking to different leaders, different people, just sharing, just sharing. Let's call it sharing instead of prospect. Just out sharing, just out connecting dots. That's all we do. And I was telling them, you know, because some people say, well, this company might be kind of doing what y'all are doing. Trust me, there is no company in our industry doing what RX is doing right now. No company in our industry, okay? And Aaron just nailed it because when you can grab the best of the best of the products as you bring companies on board, when you can, when you can grab, uh, I'll mention Lemu. When, when we came on board with Lemu and they grabbed a, 
say a John Racer or a Justo Nunez, great at marketing. They brought them on board, you know. But then in the field for us, when you can collaborate with other leaders like Aaron Decker or, you know, Todd, Ru you know, others in the field, and you go, because we're in an industry where stories tell, right? They, they tell everything. Stories sell in this industry. And when you start to share stories and bring other speakers on, and, wow, it, it's a train that cannot be stopped a train that cannot be stopped. And so Aaron, I'm going to move in tonight to just what you said as we close. And I just want to say again, thank you for being on tonight. Thank you for your leadership. And um, I, I know we're going to be, a, be together again in Arkansas very soon. So if, if you're around, we've got an event in Arkansas uh, at the 1st of August. I think it's the 7th, 8th, and 9th. Uh, look on RX Nation and MOA Challenge. But if you're anywhere within driving distance, I would get there because I'll tell you something. I've been in the industry for almost a decade, built at a pretty high level, but being around people like Aaron Decker, Todd Rowland, Chris Doyle, Ken, but those guys, those ladies, let me tell you, they're going to create your belief is going to go from here to here. I know mine has. So thank you, Aaron Decker, for that. Thank you for your leadership. And I'm going to end with this tonight. I'm going to show you a slide. I believe God works in mysterious ways. I was out on a run today. I didn't know what I, I – I had a thought for what I was going to do tonight. And I was out on a run today, and I come across this monument. I took a picture. And it's, and it's of someone helping someone else up and someone watching. Okay? Someone watching. Now, just – before you don't don't get off, don't 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 miss this. Think about what Aaron said tonight. Think about what Jackie said tonight. And think about what we have the opportunity to do. It's not prospecting. It's just sharing what you believe with all your heart can bless other people's lives. And I saw this, someone helping someone up. My mentor told me long ago, you give people a hand up, not a hand out. Help them up. Extend the hand. And when you extend a hand, there's always someone watching. There was a little girl with actually, you might not be able to see it, but there's a little, you know, she's kind of holding a doll, but she's watching. She's watching this act. She's watching what happened. See, somebody gave Jackie a hand up, and she grabbed it, and she transformed her life with it. And now she has the opportunity and she's doing it to pay it forward. See, someone sometime about eight years ago, Aaron Decker was at a low point, right? And somebody offered a hand up. He didn't want a hand out. He wanted a hand up. And they gave it to him with Todd Rowland and Chris Doyle with a company called RX that today they're paying it forward and blessing other people. And I want to share this next slide with you as I close. I always share this on, on, a, on a call where we have guests, but people always ask me, what do you do, Brent? Man, what do you do? Well, you see, you get started and you start to use the RX products. You start to feel better. You start to look better. You start to have more energy, maybe lose some weight. You start to affect you first. It's a selfish act. It's all about me. It's happening to me. But then as you are a product of the product, your belief goes up. And when your belief goes up, you pay it forward and you, and you grab those four people Aaron was talking about because now you got a little unit. you got a little team. It's called going gold, okay? And then you lock onto those four people and you help them be a product of the product. You help them have a transformation. You encourage them. You build relationships with them. You grow with them. And then you help those four get four and you grow it to 16 and you help 16 to get four and you grow it to 64 and 256 and 1,024. Think about it. Then it grows to 4,096 by running the play, by going for gold, by helping people get four. And sometimes you go, I got to get four new ones. It's okay. Aaron Decker's had to do that. Well, when do I know how to get four new? Or when do I know if I need to get four new? When they stop calling. 
when they stop answering your call, when they're just living life, love on them and move, move on because they need you to succeed. But what happens over time is you grow that into thousands of people, a distribution channel of people just like you and me that are using Rx House of Brands to help be a better version of their self. That's all we're doing. That's all we're doing. We're transforming life one by one by one. And when, when that goes from your head to your heart, you really see what you got. You're in something that you will not ever look to retire out of. You found something to retire in. Because it's just like Aaron Decker said tonight, it's a lifestyle. And when this becomes a lifestyle, mm, that's when, that's when you, you, you you're going, your piece of the pie is insured because you're going to find the people. Thank you for being here tonight. I'm, I'm so, I say this, you know, if I don't know you, it, it, it's, I'm grateful for you because when you get this train moving and you get a bunch of believers coming together and birds of a feather flock together, and you get the right leadership, you get the right company, and you get moving, you get to beat into the same drum and march into the same beat, you become unstoppable. And that's what's happening with Rx. So I'm so grateful that you're a part of that. Again, Jackie, Aaron, thank you for your time tonight. Thank you for your leadership. And for you, Rx Nation, we love each and every one of you. God bless. Have a great Sunday evening.